Hi, I'm Vlad, and today we are going to talk about Hamimul watercolor paper and blocks. In fact, I switched to this paper about two years ago and never looked back. Many artists asking me why I'm using this particular paper. And that is the reason today I'm going to do a quick test to show its capabilities, to show the features which matters to me most. First of all, I'm going to check the paper underlying core with a large wash. And then I'm going to check the rough surface of this paper by painting tree foliage. The last quick test will be the ability to lift accidental brush strokes from the surface of the paper. But first, let me show you a couple of watercolor blocks I'm using recently because they are perfectly fit into my working routine. The smaller watercolor block right here, that's um, almost a quarter size watercolor paper, uh, a little bit larger. I'm using this block a lot for my initial watercolor sketches before I'm going big. As you can see, it's nicely protected, the new block protected with vellum paper here, which uh, you can remove it from here before you using it. The large block, on the other hand, I'm going to use today for my quick test is almost half imperial size. It measured 14 by 19 inches almost. And what I like about the size of this block, it's not so elongated as um, a half imperial size watercolor paper, which helps to compose everything better. So let's start our test, painting the large sky on the surface. Look at this. A little bit more. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's a little bit. Look at this wash. It's incredible. There is nothing here which is actually standing out. You see? a little bit more cerulean and just make a gradation mm -hmm. something like that look at this smooth gradation then going into this warmer mm -hmm. now look at this i'm gonna take another one and create a little sort of under let's see how it disperses here Look, dispersion of this wet on wet technique, right? We can just create just a little bit of that kind of cloudiness. And we're going to let it dry. I'm going to start this tree and I'm going to uncover, uncork the tooth of this paper. Look. Like this. Like this. And just go into. Forgive me if my tree is not really slightly realistic. It's just a fantasy tree here. Look at this, and I'm dumping the dark paint right in while it's still wet. I decided to go a little bit warmer here. And we're going to run away branch here. Hmm? How about that kind of like a... It's just nothing I can ask more from this paper than this. Look at that. That's a tree you might and dump and wet out wet, wet and wet. 
little different colors here. And then I'm going to use, I already prepared the color for my trunk right here. This is an ultimate test, the way this paper never stands on the way of what I'm asking it to do. Let's say that I have a line here and I have to paint side of it. And then this happens. That just happened in front of our eyes. I can just take it out from the sky like never was there. For instance, most of the time though, it's this. I missed the line, for instance, too much right here. You take this paper towel, you see time is going. I'm not actually nervous about it because I know I can just take it away. It's just like a magic and it's gone completely. And this is actually a very nice bonus this paper can offer for us when we overpaint in some things. And so that will wrap up my short demo for you. And that's explain why I'm so happy with this paper. In conclusion, I have to say that the watercolor paper is not going to make artists a great painter, but the way I see it should not stay in the way of painting process. I hope you will enjoy Hamimil paper as much as I do.